Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a calendar view based on some information in a document library called Quotes that I created earlier. As you'll notice, I have three quotes here, and these all have a quote date and a decision date. And this is readable, but having it in a calendar might make it even more understandable. So I'm going to create a new view, and uh, I'm going to start that based on the calendar view templates. And I'm just going to call that calendar. We already know that we're working in the quotes, so it's a quotes calendar. But I'm just going to call that calendar for now. And then I'm going to choose the begin. That is, of course, the quote date. And then the end is the decision dates. So that's the open quotes view, actually. Let's call it that, open quotes. And then we can just do the title, and I can take the name of the um, document for that and I'll fill that out in all the the title ones, the month view, the week view. Then we have the uh, subheading here and I can put the quote value in there so I can see that right away when there's space for it. So the day view and the week view have the ability to show subheadings but the other ones, the month view doesn't so that will only be visible there. Then you can, of course, set, select the default scope, such as week or month. I'm going to stick with month there, and uh, just the filter as usual. So I'm going to put that in OK there, and there you see I have the quote 1, and the quote 2, and the quote 3 in the calendar. Notice that when I go into the quotes library, like that, let's see there, you'll notice that I get the open quotes view there. and. Um, and then I go into the calendar, and that's visible and nice. However, there's no navigation back there, and that might be something that you need to take into account. And that's how SharePoint works out of the box. There are ways to get around it, but uh, then you have to get those workarounds everywhere that you're doing this thing. So I would recommend just learning how to click there, and that will get you back to the, the, all the views that you have. Let me show you one more thing before I complete this demonstration, and that's switching over to the week view. Uh, let's do that and you'll notice that there is the optional field that uh, I put in there. And that goes there in parentheses if it's several days and it's just one day then it just shows on the next row. So that's where the quote value went. And that's of course the option I put here. Let me show you that again. Modify view and those are the subheadings. The subheadings there and the subheadings there for the date and the week view. Another way of showing your quotes in a nice way is using a Gantt view, but that I'll do in the next demonstration. So in this I showed you how to create a calendar view of your document library information. All you really need for that to work is that you need to have some relevant date fields, quote date and the decision date. So that concludes my demo and thank you for watching.